sweetheart, don't forget to send one of those cards to Uncle Tanoose. He'll get a big kick out of getting a card from the Eiffel Tower. All oh, right, darling. Only for goodness sake, be sure and tell him that the Eiffel Tower is in Lebanon. <laughs> Funny, it would break his heart to find out something this great is in any other country. I think I'll send one to Jose, too. He always enjoys getting postcards from us. You are going to send a picture of the Eiffel Tower to Jose Jimenez? Mm-hmm. You don't know him, do you? I mean, he gets things all confused. He's liable to think it's an oil well. Oh, no. That's it. You remember the picture we sent him from Scotland? You know, the bagpipers in the kilts? Mm -hmm. Remember the answer we got to that? Thank you very much for the picture of the very pretty legs, but I like them better on girls. <laughs> <laughs> He's a card. Besides, I don't want to write to him. I'm sure of him anyway. What for? I mean, what for? He hasn't written to us in ages. Who? <laughs> who? Jose, who are we talking about? Oh, he wrote. We got a letter the other day, didn't I tell you? No, you didn't tell me. Well, he didn't have much to say anyway. Well, what did he have to say? Well, nothing much, really. Huh? He didn't get fired, after all. Oh. <laughs> he, he didn't get fired? Mm-hmm. Well, what was he going to get fired for? Because he was going to have to go to jail. Oh. <laughs> jail? For what? Uh, for, for stealing. <laughs> My beautiful wife. Jose Jimenez wrote that he was going to have to go to jail for stealing and lose his job. That's right, darling. But outside of that, he had nothing much to say. Mm. Clancy, what did he have to say? Give me back my pen. First, tell me what he had to say. Well, you want me to tell you the whole story? Yeah, I want, I want. All right, my goodness. A person would think I didn't always tell you everything. <laughs> well, it all started one day when Jose came up to see Bunny and Charlie. Hello, Jose. Excuse me, Mrs. Harper. May I come in? Well, of course. Come right in. Thank you very much. I hope I'm not bothering you. Well, of course not. You're always welcome here. Yes, I noticed it says that on your doormat. <laughs> Jose, you're cute. Thank you, I know. <laughs> Jose, what can we do for you today? Well, I was hoping I could ask Mr. Harper for a favor. Wait! Before I do you a favor, I would like you to do me a favor. Oh, I'd be very, very delighted to do you a favor. Any kind of favor. What kind of favor do you want? Don't ask me any favor. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, Bunny, I'm sorry. Every time this guy asks me something, it costs me. Oh, no, it's nothing like that, Mr. Harper. See? Don't jump to conclusions, sweetheart. You don't jump to conclusions, sweetheart. <laughs> It's just a little teeny favor, and it will be very, very simple for you. Uh, well, if it's very simple, what is it? I'd like you to be a pig. <laughs> huh? A guinea pig. Funny. <laughs> well, you see, Mr. Harbour, I'm going to ask Mr. Perkins, the manager, for a race, and I want to practice on you first, like they do to the guinea pigs. <laughs> oh! Jose, you mean guinea pig. Thank you very much. You know, this is all very nice, and I hope you get it, but why practice on me? You own a very important nightclub, Mr. Harper, and a lot of people ask you for raises. Well, of course, darling. All Jose wants to do is, well, it's like uh, he wants to practice his approach on you. You have experience, and you're very wise, and you're very stingy. <laughs> In my business, you have but to be Charlie, stingy. Darling, Charlie, darling, no, Jose didn't mean it. Now, now, come on, be a good sport. Let him practice, huh? Okay, okay, <laughs> all right, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll be your guinea pig. Well, that's guinea pig. Thank you. <laughs> come on, will you oh, go? All right, let's see now. Uh, you be Mr. Porkin. Yeah. I'll be Jose. I'm sorry, I don't have a part for you. Oh, Jose, that's all right. Go on, oh, go on, stop. Okay, I will go up and knock on your door. No, no, no. Come in. I'm afraid. <laughs> Come in. Mr. Porkin. <laughs> Mr. Porkin, I am a very poor man. I am so poor, I am suffering from poverty. That's how poor I am. <laughs> but I do not ask this for myself. Just think of the little mouths of the little child people who are my nephews and nieces. They look up at me with their little hungry eyeballs. And they say to me, Uncle Jose, we are very hungry. We need some bread. And I got to say, I do not have the money to buy you the bread. Jose. Mr. Oh. Perkin, please, you don't want those children to have to eat those frozen dinners in the refrigerator. Please. 
Jose, Jose! Don't, don't you understand? They will break their teeth on those frozen dinners. That's, <laughs> that's enough. That's enough. Jose, you're never going to get the first base with that hearts and flowers routine. Well, especially with a man like Mr. Perkins. Why, he's as hard as stone. You, you'd never get any place with that sob stuff, Jose. Well, but of course, you've you got to be direct. you gotta get, you got to get right to it. Get right to it. Well, sure, you got to ask for a raise without any stalling. Now, try it again, and remember, don't hesitate. Don't hesitate. Yeah. Okay, we're not hesitating. Mr. Burke! <laughs> Jose! You did it again! But I didn't hesitate. <laughs> Jose! You're never gonna make it without approach. If you if you walk in there begging like that, well, well, Jiminy, you're, you're gonna be beaten before you even start. He'll make mincemeat out of you. Oh, Jose, it isn't as though you were asking for something you don't deserve. You have been a hard-working employee in this building for a long time. Yes, I have. You've been very loyal to this building. I have never even looked at another building. <laughs> so, Jose, you go in there and you hold your head high. Uh, full of confidence. Don't beg. And don't kiss his hand. I will hold my head high. I will be full of confidence. I will not beg. Good, Good boy. You, Jose. And I will not kiss his hand. Good. Good. Unless it's absolutely necessary. <laughs> Again, up on the furniture again, and my best sweater. I don't know what I'm going to do with you. Uh. Hello? Oh, yes, Mrs. Montgomery. Yes, Chumley is here. Uh, look, I don't know what I'm going to do with this mutt for a week. I I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I, I realize your mutt is not a mutt. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes. I, I know. I know he is an imported English Sky Terrier, and he's very intelligent. But as manager of this building, I... Break your lease? Oh, well, uh, now. Now, 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 Mrs. Montgomery, let's not be hasty. <laughs> the owners frown on that sort of thing, and I, uh, I... I'll be delighted to take care of Chumley. <laughs> you foreigners coming over here and causing trouble. <laughs> oh, uh, just a moment. You come in. Yo, it's you. <laughs> what do you want? Mr. Parkin, I want... I demand, I must have a raise. <laughs> you must have a raise. Oh, thank you. That was my suggestion. Thank you so very much. Oh, hey, Holt! For what reason would I give you a raise? Oh, I'm glad you asked that. I wrote them down on a list. The reason why I think I should have a raise by Jose Jimenez. <laughs> I am loyal. I am reliable. I am trustworthy. Oh, come off it. Mr. Parkin, that was my only copy. <laughs> I am not interested in your literary efforts, and I have no intention of giving you a raise. Not one cent. Is that clear? Not quite. Could you be more specific? <laughs> Back to your post. That's very clear. <laughs> Mr. Parkin, I must say what I came here to say. Well, say it. Mr. Parkin, if you do not give me a raise, I will quit my job as the elevator operator in this building. Oh, you will, eh? Yes. And I consider the subject closed. All right. You're through. I would like to reopen the subject. <laughs> Do you not realize the work that I've been doing in this building? I call the taxi cabs for the people. I, I carry the bundles for the people. I do everything, and I do it all for $80 a week. $80? Yes. Well, if my memory serves me correctly, the scale for elevator operators in a building of this size is only $75. Yes, I'm right. Oh, no. I get 80 Oh, no. You get 75. <laughs> we'll make the adjustment immediately. You mean 
You are adjusting me down, not up? <laughs> That's right. I don't think I like the adjustment. <laughs> oh, and this started out to be such a bad day, too. Oh, Mr. Porky. Dismissed! <laughs> now, uh, wait a minute. Uh, I have a surprise for you. Oh, yes? Yes, I like to see young fellas get ahead in the world. You do? So, I am going to give you an added responsibility. Here. Chumley is all yours. Mine? Yes, you're in complete charge until Mrs. Montgomery returns. I'm going to be a dog sitter? With this added responsibility goes added remuneration. Mm. More money? Mm hmm a $5 raise. My boy, you are now making $80 a week. <laughs> Mr. Pork, and thank you so very much. And you know, when I came in here, I, I didn't think you would give me the raise. <laughs> but you gave it to me. <laughs> $80 a week. <laughs> Boy, did you give it to me. <laughs> Charlie, honey, uh, yeah. I've been having trouble with the clasp on this bracelet. Do you think you could drop it by the jewelers on your way downtown? I will, honey, if I can find the time. Well, of course, if you can't find the time, I might drop in there myself and buy a little something new. <laughs> so the most gorgeous bracelet there. I just found the time. <laughs> I had a hunch you would. <laughs> oh, honey, listen, I'll leave it right over here, dear. Now, please don't forget it. I huh? won't, I won't. Hello, Jose. Jose, what's that? That's my race. <laughs> huh? I went in to ask for a raise, and I got this. Oh, that's a shame, Jose. Yeah. I bet you walked in there like a mouse. No, I walked in like a lion. I walked out like a mouse. <laughs> who, um, who belongs to that? I do, for the next week. I gotta take care of Chumley until Mrs. Montgomery comes back. Chumley? Yes. That's Chumley. <laughs> the little Chumley. <laughs> Jose, listen, I have a soup bone in the kitchen. Oh, thank you. I ate already. <laughs> No, Jose, I mean for Chumley. I'll go get it. Oh. Say, Mr. Harpo. Huh? Uh, excuse me one sec. Chumley, I'm going to put you down. If you move, I'm going to shave you and make you a chihuahua. <laughs> Mr. Harpo, how would you uh, like to be the temporary proud owner of a fine pedigree mutt dog? Anna, you're not going to pawn him off on me because for some reason, me and dogs don't get along. Even, even when I was a boy, you know, I would throw a stick I would go get it myself. <laughs> You're an old man now. You maybe need a dog to get the stick for you. Jose! <laughs> yeah, I was just kidding. Johnny. What's the matter? Johnny. Oh, I left a jar on the door. A jar. <laughs> How's the baby? Oh, he's wonderful. I rocked him to sleep just a little while ago. Oh, that sounds good. Boy, I can use some shut eye myself. Oh. Ah, start, oh. start rocking. Oh. <laughs> Guard day? Oh, the usual rat race, you know. You know something, Bunny? Hmm. Today, today I asked myself, is it worth all this? Is it worth knocking your brains out just to make money? Thank goodness my answer was yes. <laughs> I knew you'd come through, honey. Yeah. Well, uh, dear, when, when are you going to give me my bracelet back? Bracelet? What bracelet? Honey, what do you mean, what bracelet? <laughs> darling, let, let Mommy kind of pace through from the top. Remember this morning, I came in, you were sitting at the desk, and I came over here, I said, darling, I was clasping on my bracelet, would you take down the jewelers? And you said, no, if I have time. And I said, you, well, if you have time, I'll buy a new one. Ha, ha, ha. Remember, and then you said, all right, then I'll do it. So I came over here, right to the table, I put it right there. Now do you remember? Oh, yeah, now I remember. Good. I remember, I forgot. What? <laughs> I forgot to take it. Charlie, you can't have forgotten. Look in your pockets. No, 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 I forgot. I oh, forgot. Maybe, maybe you moved it. Charlie, I didn't move it. I'd remember if I moved. Uh, honey, Rusty. I, I would remember if I took it. Well, honey, I'm not going crazy if I put yes, something in my Rusty, dear, uh, did you see a bracelet on the table? Yeah, there it is. No, no, honey, I, I mean another bracelet. It was a gold bracelet on the table. Oh, no, I didn't see any gold one. Well, it's got to be somewhere. Let's look around. All right, Russ, why don't you look over on the sofa? Check the Because I was sure... I don't see how to get over here. Get... But I mean, I didn't know if I took... It's ridiculous. The eye bracelet can't get up and walk away. Bonnie! What's that? You find something? Yeah, I found out when I bend over like this, I can't get up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess it's not in this 
room. <laughs> well, maybe Linda put it away somewhere. Russ, that's a good idea. Listen, why don't we all look in the yeah, bedroom? Right, I'll, I'll check check maybe the in the dresser drawer. Russ, you I check there. See, Linda, I think it would be a very good idea if you took care of Charlie, you see, because it would bring some joy and sunshine into your drab, childish life. <laughs> Gee, I sure would like to take care of Charlie, but I don't think Aunt Bunny would let me. Tell you what we, we could, could do, Linda. We could hide Charlie in your room. What if he barked? Oh, the dogs only bark when they hear something. So we could take some cotton and stuff his ears, you see? And just think, you'd be the only kid in the block that has a, a real live stuffed dog. Wouldn't that be fun? <laughs> that so much fun. Why don't you want to keep him? Well, I don't know. I, I guess it's because I just don't want to be selfish. I asked myself, I said, Jose, you have a dog. And poor little Linda doesn't have a dog. You should give that dog to Linda so she would have a dog to put her little face up against his cold nose. I don't know, Jose. Well, it's just funny what could have happened to it. I don't know. Oh, hi. hi, Linda. Hi, Linda, darling. Oh, hi, sweetheart. Linda, darling, did, you didn't see a bracelet around here this morning, did you? No, I didn't. Well, I'll look in the desk. All right, now. darling, listen, I'll ask Louise if well, she happened to see it this morning. Look at Charlie. Huh? Can I take care of Mrs. Montgomery's dog? Jose is willing. I'll bet. <laughs> yes, he's being unselfish because he thinks children and dogs should romp and play together. And it'll bring joy and sunshine into my drab, childish life. Oh, he's all heart, honey. All heart. Forget it. Oh, Uncle Charlie. Charlie is so cute and... Gee, where'd he go? He's run away. No, no such luck. He probably just ran down to my room. Honey, I asked Louise, and she she hadn't seen hide in her hair of it. Oh, this is great. Aunt Bunny? What, no, darling, look, please, I'm sorry. Uh, we're, we're kind of worried about a few things, darling. Please don't interrupt. Now... Charlie! Huh? Charlie, the other one's gone now. <laughs> Holy Toledo! What is it? Well, uh, really, something very peculiar is going on here. This morning, I left a bracelet on this table, and it disappeared. A few minutes ago, I put another bracelet there, and now it's gone. What could have happened? I'll tell you what could have happened. The, the, the stuff must have been lifted. I think there's a thief loose in the building. A thief? Yeah. Well, uh, Charlie, what I don't understand is if someone came in here, there was someone here all day long. How could they walk in here without being noticed? Mm. Do you know what? I'm going to get in touch with Mr. Perkins. That's what I'm going oh, to do. Oh, I don't think it was Mr. Perkins. <laughs> <laughs> no. I tell you one thing, though, Mrs. Harper. You know, those... Thieves are very sneaky. I read all about them in the detective stories. Yes, They're all alike, you know. That's very interesting, Jose. I could solve this crime. Oh, you can? Yes. Uh, Mr. Perkins, please. You got to know the motive. Mm. And all the thieves got the same motive. What's that? Stealing. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, uh, well, I'll, I'll hang on. While you are hanging, what I'm going to do is I'm going to search all over this building, right from the top to the bottom, looking for clues. Gee, what if you bump into the thief? Then I will capture him. What if he's bigger than you are? I'll look for some more clues. <laughs> now, rest assured, Mrs. Halper, if there is a thief on the premises, Sergeant Fowler will apprehend him. And now for the details. When did you miss the first bracelet? Uh, Mr. Perkins. Hmm? Oh, oh, yes, of course. <laughs> you know how it is when one's used to command. Now, Mrs. Halper, you left the first bracelet on the table this morning? Yes, I did, Sergeant. And since that time, has there been anyone in the apartment? Outside of the immediate family? No, there hasn't. No one? Uh, no tradespeople? Well, only Jose. Jose? The elevator operator? Oh, yeah. Well, now, just a minute. I don't know what you're thinking, Sergeant Fowler, but you better stop thinking it right now. Why, Jose is, is practically a member of our family. Yeah. And yours is not the only complaint we've had today. You mean there have been other thefts in the building? That's right. And in each case, Jose Jimenez has been named as among those present. Oh, now, wait a minute. That's pretty flimsy kind of evidence. Naturally, Jose's gonna be in these apartments. He works here. And besides, Jose Jimenez is one of the most honest people I've ever known in my entire life. Why, Jose would never steal. That's right. Whenever he needs some money, he can always con me out of it. <laughs> Does this Jose often need money? Well, he came to me only this morning asking for a raise, which I refuse, naturally. Naturally. <laughs> so he does need money, huh? I think we'd better go and have a little talk with this Mr. Jimenez. Uh, excuse me, folks. Charlie, I think we'd better go along. Yeah, Jose can use somebody on his side, too, maybe. Bet. Mm. <laughs> Hello, roommate. <laughs> no, Charlie. 
Why can't you be like other dogs and run away once in a while? <laughs> Look, Johnny, you don't have to run very far. Just run up to Linda's apartment or something. It's very easy to do. All you have to do is keep looking, you know. If I leave the door open and I'm not watching, then you could run away. <laughs> Look, I'll open the door. Look at this. See? The door is open. Look, I'm not looking, Charlie. <laughs> Run away, Charlie. I'm not look. Go away. Take a vacation. <laughs> Welcome home. <laughs> Charlie, you got to pay attention. Don't you want to learn? You want to be a dog all your life? <laughs> now look, I'll show you how to run away. Now just watch me. Look. Look, Charlie. I'm running away. Look, I'm running away. Look, I'm running away. <laughs> Where do you think you're going? I was running away. No, no, you're not. Hi, uh, could I do something for you? Jose, will you please tell me? I'll handle the questioning, Mrs. Halper. Now, isn't it the fact today you were in the Halper apartment? Yes, I... And in the Anderson apartment? Yes, I was... And in the Moore apartment? Yes. And the Tyler apartment? The Clyde apartment and the Foss apartment? Yes, I, I was... All those places, why are you asking me that? And it just so happens that in each of these apartments, some item of jewelry has been reported missing. Oh, yes, because there's a very bad sneak thief in this building someplace, and I think they're going to catch him. I wonder who that could be. We think we know who it is. Who? You. Mmm. <laughs> Me? Oh, that's the worst terrible thing I ever heard in my whole life. That you would accuse me of stealing. I would never steal nothing in my whole life. Oh, no. You, look, you can search me. Look any place. Look anywhere you want to. Look here. Don't look there. <laughs> Waiting for an explanation. Yes. Maybe we could all, all wait together. <laughs> I mean, if a person got caught with these in their hands, they, they could get in a lot of trouble. Here, Mr. Perkins. You're under arrest. Oh, no. You... Now, take it easy. Anything you say can be held against you. But, sir, I wouldn't... No I... buts. This is an open and shut case. All right, let's go. Come well, on. Wait, now, wait a minute. I want to open the shut case. <laughs> Look, I wouldn't like to get rough with you. I wouldn't like that either. Now, wait a minute. I know things look bad for him right now, but I bet my life there's some kind of explanation. Well, of you? course there's an explanation. Why, Jose Jimenez is not a thief. Oh. Mr. Perkins, please tell him. Well, uh... I don't really think he'd steal. No, I don't either. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, folks. I have to go by the evidence. Those jewels were found in your apartment on your bed under your pillow. Now, if you didn't steal them, who did? Well, I have... No, I... <laughs> well, there's your thief. John Lee. <laughs> John Lee. Don't, John Lee. Don't bark a word. Anything you bark when they held against you. <laughs> Mr. Perkins was so sorry about the mix-up that he even gave Jose his raise after all. Hey, that's great. Yeah, and not only that, but Mrs. Montgomery came back from her vacation earlier than expected, so Jose doesn't have to be a baby dog sitter anymore. Oh, boy, I'll bet Jose's thrilled, you know? Yes, I'll tell you something. If he had one I'm more sorry, day... I'm sorry, Jose. I, I know a boy's best friend is his dog and all that, but... I, I just couldn't do it. That's all. No. Pee-wee is no trouble. You won't even know I he's in the house. Yeah. <laughs> 